And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this will be enthralling. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner, as usual, is Stuart Robson. I'm greatly looking forward to bringing you live coverage of this match being played in Serie A. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And a look at the starting lineup for Torino. Well, it's a 3 4 2 1, so it's going to be interesting to see what's expected of the wing backs here. Are they going to be high up the field or drop deeper to make a back five? Only time will tell. And introducing the visitors' lineup today Rui Patricio begins in goal, Leandro Paredes plays alongside Brian Cristante in central midfield, and the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, they're eyeing that final pass, you just feel. Ivan Ilic. Crossing possibilities. And struggling to get the shot off. And a very good challenge. I understand there's been a goal at the San Siro, so let's hear all about it from Alex. It's a goal for Inter. It's now 1-0 with 13 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. Kumbula. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, the stats tell you everything. He's a top-class striker. Even when he's having a quiet game, he can still pop up with a goal, as we may well see today. Lazzaro. Nemanja Radonjic. Oh, fancy footwork. Teammate available. Will it open up? He succeeds in clearing it. Now, let's see what they can do here. Brian Tristante might really be able to trouble them here. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Lazaro. Ilic. Valentino Lazaro. It's with Ndika. Brian Tristante. And the whistle is sounded for half time in this game. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. Paredes. Now with Cristante. 
Well, unable to bend his run offside. More live football from Serie A coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Torino taking on Cagliari. Chance to do damage. Abraham. On to Cristante. Well, it's great when you can rely on your keeper. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. Over it comes. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Nemanja Radonjic. Ilic. Radonjic. Just moving back into that deeper position. Now the attack fizzled out. Uh, plenty of live football coming your way right here on EA TV. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good oh, teams. Stewart, an opportunity. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. So making the substitution now. <laughs> Playing it in. Well, that's an example of how to do it. Dealing with a corner. Ivan Ilic in possession Karamo Tamez Ivan Ilic and news of a goal at the San Siro Alex Scott can fill us in it's another goal for Inter they've pulled ahead by two with 79 minutes played that's probably the win wrapped up right there with that one Derek thank you Alex Crucial tackle, brilliant. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, still the prospect of late excitement in this match. Paredes. Subimendi. Moving the ball forward with purpose. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, these fans are right behind the team here. Can they get the equaliser, though? Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Well, getting it forward, but they need an equaliser. Well, there goes the final whistle, and it's all gone to plan for the visiting fans. Three points for them. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall, they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Brian Cristante. A very warm welcome to you from Wembley Stadium. My name's Guy Mowbray, delighted to be joined by Sue Smith for commentary, and hopefully we've got some goals and drama on the way. Sue, what can we expect from the game then? 
Thanks, Guy. Well, I can't wait for this one. Both sets of fans are certainly up for it. I'm sure that that'll give the players a real boost. They'll be hoping to start the game at a fast tempo. Number 18, Gallagher. And so the first half kicks off. This is the England team. Jordan Pickford is the goalkeeper. John Stone starts alongside Vicayo Tamore as the central defenders, and they're playing with just one up front. This is the lineup for the visitors. Yeah, they're playing a 4 3 3. One central striker with the wingers providing the width, a quite narrow three in midfield, and then a back four where the full backs they're going to be expected to get up and down those flanks. And it's on now. And we haven't had to wait long for the opening goal. It's 1-0. Well, we can see it again now. He does so well to slip past his man. Leaves him stranded. And what a strike that is. Lots of pace and power. And the goalie just can't keep it out. It's a good finish. So it's 1-0 as the game restarts. Gallagher. Saka. Longstaff. Could turn out to be a really good ball. Oh, that is extraordinary. True athleticism to make contact like that. One of the finest goals you'll see all season. Well, here's the replay, and it's the way he uses his body. The defender is tight, but he manages to get a yard of space to get his shot off. It's really strong play, that. Two nil then, as we get started again. They've given it away here. They're not getting close enough here. Players waiting in the centre. They'll have a go here. And good work from the keeper to get across and deal with the danger. Corner kick played in. It's away, but it's not finished yet. Rice. From your friend Jonathan Fish. Well, that really had to go in. That's unbelievable. Well, he'd be so glad that the flag was raised there because what a poor finish that was. Given away by the goalkeeper. Bikayo Tomori. Gallagher. This is a lovely position to be in, keeping the ball and the lead. Longstaff. This is a lovely spell on the ball. But ultimately, not going anywhere with it. This is a positive-looking move. But that's where any chance of anything developing disappears. And it's a challenge that's brought a whistle and a free kick.
There's room to do something here. Here it is! A lifeline in this game. And surely momentum is with them now. Incredible! Well, if we watch this again, it's all about the run. You've got to question the defending. But I don't want to take anything away from his superb individual goal. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone at Wembley. And we're back underway for the second 45. for the breakaway here. Can he finish? And there's the hat-trick. He'll be taking the match ball home. Well, here it is again. And just look at how quickly they break forward. Cause all sorts of problems. And the movement is good to get on the end of it. And it's a simple finish in the end. And the game kicks off again with the score 3-1. They're not getting close enough here. And that's a shame for them. Nothing doing. Right. No need to do anything other now than pass it around. And it's on now. Oh, against the bar. And it's with the keeper now after such a close shave. That was a great attempt at goal, and you can see the relief in the goalie's face that he's gathered that. Well, the woodwork just about keeping them in this. It has been chance after chance, though. You just think if they score another, you fear this could get ugly. Under a bit of pressure here. This is a good run. Now, can he pick out the right option? Real opportunity. And further clear they go. There's surely no throwing this one away. Well, we can see it again now. He does so well to slip past his man. Leaves him stranded. And he shows his strength by holding off the defender. Then keeps his composure to finish. He does really well there. So back underway, 4-1 now. Coming off the pitch, number four, Rico Henry. Coming onto the pitch, number 24, Rhys James. A lot of room for them here. They've lost it now. And a cross that could be dangerous. A 
That's a good tackle and a throw into come. And that's the final whistle. A positive result, at least as far as the home fans are concerned. Sue, what did you make of their performance? Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. They were really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never in much doubt. And with that, the first half is underway. 